Hey guys, so I went to turn the ceiling fan on the other day and the chain has completely broke and seized up on me. Uh, it will not pull anymore. Um, rather than just trying to replace the chain and going through all that trouble, um, you can get a replacement switch that it's connected to uh, from your local hardware store, Home Depot, Menard, whatever it may be. Um, and they only, it looks like this. It only costs about five dollars and all it basically entails is disconnecting the other one the existing one that's inside here uh, removing these wires and then hooking the wires to the new one so uh and red like i said rather than trying to fiddle around with replacing a chain it, it, it can be really tough and tedious uh, i'm going to show you today how to just go ahead and replace the switch so you start out by unscrewing this little knob here that holds the housing in place try not to drop that and lose it you know and retain that and then this will pop out and you'll see on the bottom that you have four wires that come from it what you want to do is take note because right where each wire goes in you can probably see that you see an L a 1 a 2 and a 3 so you're going to want to document it, make a drawing, take a picture so you know what color wire goes with which number. On the new one, you've got the same thing, the L, the 1, the 2, and the 3. So rather than try to fiddle around trying to pull these wires out of here, I believe there's a way you might be able to stick something small and, and uh, narrow in those holes to release the wires. There's three clips, one, two, and three on here, that if you pull these apart, this top will come off, and then those wires should be able to slide right out. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that cap off real fast. So I took a small screwdriver, and I pried these clips away, and this thing should just go ahead and pull right up like that. And if you look underneath, you can see how those wires are being held in by those little copper clips. This way it's going to be a lot easier to just go ahead and take a small screwdriver and what you're going to do is pull these aside and those wires should pull right out. Again, before you do that, you're going to want to document which color wires are at which numbers because that's very important. Okay, now that I have all those pulled out, what you're going to want to make sure is that you don't have any loose wires so you want them all twisted together and then soldered over or clad it over or whatever you want to call it and all that you're gonna do is go ahead and reference your list or your picture and you're gonna push the wires in the little holes that are next to each of these numbers and the letter and basically all you do is you push it into the hole and it's going to lock itself in as you can see from the old one, uh, it'll push in, but it won't pull out. So I'm gonna go ahead, reference my drawing, get these wires pulled in here, and then I will show you the next step. There you go. It's really that easy, guys. It's, it's not a difficult process. You push the end of those wires in, and they're not, they're not coming out. They're held in real well. Uh, the first step that I did not go over is, you know, all this all this goes into this housing here and the light fixture that goes to the bottom of it right here, it's just, it's being held on and it's just screwed on with three screws. You unscrew those three and you get the guts of this housing. Again, that comes out. What you want to do next is unscrew the knob that's on the top here and then feed your chain through the hole this is hard to do with one hand sorry all right that's better you thread your chain through the hole you put your new housing in put the nut back over the chain tighten it down and you have yourself a brand new working chain Once you get this housing from the hardware store, guys, it takes about 10, 15 minutes to replace. It's not difficult at all. You just gotta remember to document the numbers and the wires that come out of each one so your fans work at the proper speeds and the electrical doesn't get all messed up on you. Um, one thing I didn't mention, 
is that when you take the when you take the light down, it is hooked to a light. It's being held on by three screws. All you do is you unscrew those three screws, you pop this out, and the guts of everything will come out at you, and you'll be able to see exactly where your housing is. Sorry about that. Where your housing is for the ceiling fan, and then unscrew that, pull it out, and follow the steps that I had mentioned previously. Yeah, and that's it. You go ahead and you put it all together, hang the fan back up, and I promise you, your fan is gonna work just as good as new. So if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, please, guys. Uh, I'm trying to get a nice little how-to channel going here for everybody that likes to do things around the house that they would normally call somebody out to do uh, that they can easily do themselves and, and not be scared, not be scared to do any of this stuff because it is all things that, uh, that are easily done. So go ahead and subscribe, like the video, and uh, if you want to know when I post new videos, which seems to be about once or twice a week, uh, go ahead and click that little bell. And if you have any questions whatsoever, if you try to attempt this at home, you're having issues, go ahead and shoot me a comment, and I will go ahead and walk you through the process and make things a little easier for you. Thanks, and I hope you guys have a great day.